Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and this is AskTheComputerCoach.com, and this week's Play of the Week is How to Install Virtual PC 2007, and first, let me be honest, it's not the afternoon, it's 6.36 in the morning, and I'm slurring because I just woke up, but I want to show you guys this because it's, uh, it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, you can install an operating system within an operating system on your computer. Yes, that's right. And what we're going to be doing is, I'm going to install, um, let's see, I could install Windows 7. I'm going to install um, XP Professional. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Microsoft.com, okay, and then type in Virtual PC 2007, and this is the screen that you'll come up to. And if you scroll down here, Okay, you'll want to choose your operating system. I mean, your uh, uh, your file name that you want. Either either you're going either you're running a 64-bit or a 32-bit. Uh, depends on what uh, it is that you're running, and you want to choose either or. And for me, um, I'm just going to go ahead and choose uh, the 32-bit. You'll go ahead and click download. Download, and you'll go ahead and you'll run that. And as soon as that's installed, okay, you'll get Google. No, just kidding. Uh, what you'll get is um, <laughs> uh, you'll get this screen right here, and you'll want to go ahead and uh, start the virtual machine wizard. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a virtual machine. Okay. So it's going to go ahead and walk us through the basic steps. Click next. Okay. Now. Now you're going to want to find a location as to where you want to store this. Now, if you have a couple hard drives, that'd be great because, well, it depends on how much memory or space that you have left on your hard drive. Um, so you can install it on your C drive if you have enough room. If not, put it on like, like what I have, a D drive. I have another hard drive with, with a lot more space. So we can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and start install this on my D drive okay we'll go ahead and do that and this is what I named it this some funky name new virtual machine XP Pro okay so let's go ahead and click next okay I'm going to choose the operating system that we're installing and of course you have different options here okay now if you were if you were doing this say you were installing Windows 7 just choose other okay but we're choosing XP because that's what it is click next and then I'm going to allocate uh, two gigs of RAM uh, for this uh, just kind of play with it it just depends on what you're using it for uh, uh, but I, I went ahead and uh, chose two gigs of RAM you don't want to choose a lot because it's going to affect uh, both machines so let's go ahead and click next okay click on new virtual hard disk okay and that will be installed on my D drive. Okay, this is the size of the virtual hard disk right here. Okay, and this is the maximum virtual hard disk space that you have. And, and you know, by the way, this isn't for the novices. Novices, this is for more of the experience. So uh, a lot of you guys understand what I'm talking about. So go ahead and click next. Click finish. Okay, and here we have the virtual PC console. Okay, so this right here, I just named it Windows 77 for the hell of it. This is this is the one that um, uh, I have uh, Windows 7 installed on. But here is our XP Pro. So the other thing that you have to remember is like, since I'm installing this, I'm installing it from a CD, or actually a DVD. So I have my Windows XP Pro DVD in my DVD drive and so I'm going to want to go ahead and click start okay okay it's off and running choose CD right here use the physical drive E and that's where my that's my drive for my city run okay now as you can see setup is looking configuring slowly but surely let's get that out of the way
Okay, so here we go. It's actually running setup as we speak. Does this look familiar? Remember XP Pro? So uh, now we're going to install the operating system. Okay, so it's going through its thing and so on, and uh, it'll take a few minutes. Okay, so here we are. Welcome to the setup screen. Uh, so obviously we're going to want to go ahead and follow uh, the uh, instructions and you guys already know how to do that. Let's just go ahead and get this thing installed. So we want to hit uh, uh, enter to continue and uh, now we sit here and we wait for it to install. And as you can now see, uh, we're coming up to about 65% about, uh, of the install being completed. So it's getting there slow but sure. Okay, so now the setup is complete. The computer's going to reboot, and uh, we will now be uh, in entering the rest of the information into the computer uh, for the rest of the install. So here we come to the uh, other half of the installation progress, and uh, as you can see now, it's uh, going to be installing Windows, collecting information dynamic update preparing installation uh, and then of course now we're on installing windows and it says approximately 39 minutes but we know it doesn't take that long okay so we're gonna go ahead and uh, click next type in your name we'll just call this coach um, you can put an organization in I guess if you want uh, now of course the product key okay so here we are Windows XP has loaded and it's just that simple. Now I can go ahead and do my updates and so on. Um, oh, and by the way, you see how I'm kind of stuck in this box here? I can't move my mouse out. Click the right alt button. Okay. Ooh, and voila, you can get out of there. And to get back in, of course, just double click on your cursor and there you are, you're back in the box. So in order to run these up here um, and these, you're going to need to uh, be able to come out of the box uh, out of the virtual machine so there you are it's pretty plain and simple as to how to do this so I'd like to thank you for coming by askthecomputercoach.com and we will uh, go into more detail about this later alright we'll talk to you later bye bye